I'm Joe Cole, and this is what I know. I mean, I started playing very young in the school playground and, and ran, ran my flats. But I didn't actually start playing for a team until I was 10 or 11, a club called Chapel Boys. Didn't get, didn't get no coaching until I, was, until I went to West Ham. It was very much just taught myself how to play. I'm just known as the, the kid with the ball. The position that requires movement and you know, always try and be on the move receiving it. You know, it's always think about taking it in his stride. I mean, the worst thing is to get the ball stuck under your feet in any situation. You can't do nothing with it there. You've got to always receive it and, and have, a, have a picture in your, in your mind. You know what I mean? You need, you need to be able to know what's going on behind you, to the sides and in front of you at all times. It's enjoying the, enjoying the, uh, the challenge, you know. It's a one on one. It's, if you get the ball out wide and you're, you're up against the fullback, and, you know, you, your best bet is to try and get him off balance. For me, it's the stop start, the first five or six yards is vital when it comes to, to beating, beating a player. You know, when you can just stop and start quick, it, you know, the fullbacks hate that. You're born with a, a amount of desire to practice. And as a kid, you know, I, I practice more than anyone. I, I, I just push myself and push yourself. And I mean, it's nothing better for me than a brick wall and a football with myself. I just went off in my own world, you know, pinging it against the wall taking it with my right foot, taking it with my left foot. If your focus is always on improving and practising, you, you'll go a long way. It's, it's all about the change of the pace of your body. It, it, you don't have to do it at 100 miles an hour either. Like, defenders are going to be flying in the way to try and block things. And if you can manage to slow your body down in time, when you're near the goal and you know that defenders are desperate, it's, that's the best place to use it. Receiving the ball when you know when, when things ain't going well, when you're losing, when when you're not playing well, and still playing your game, still trying things, and and they're the bravest players, you know, to look at, not the ones that necessarily are slamming into tackles and, and putting their heads in the way. It's putting yourself on the line, you know, and, and taking taking the ball in in any area of the pitch. If you're going to do the Rabona three or four times a game. You know, it's, it's not good. It, it probably means that you're not so strong on your left foot, and if, so um, you know it can it can only come out once in a while, and it, it has to come out natural in the flow of a game. If you if you're thinking about trying to do it, then then you're going down the wrong the wrong road. Always train how you play. You know, it's always intense. We're all still learning. You know, even even at the top level when I'm training. I, I see someone do something nice and, and, and nice, and you just inspires you. You just want to you want to get yourself better. You know, you might just take one thing away from you, but that one thing could be just give you that one two percent extra that can take your game on to the next level. You might only play ten yard passes for for eighty nine minutes, and that when that opportunity comes, when you've got to beat a man and and hit a killer ball, you know, that's when you've got to take it on. Don't try and force it. Don't try and force the killer pass. Keep it nice and simple. Play what you see and, uh, and the opportunities will come. Every day is an opportunity to improve. Every day is an opportunity to learn. There's a lot of obstacles on the way as you're growing up. There's a lot of people want to take you down. I think if, you, if your focus is always on improving and practising, you, you'll go a long way. Thank you.